Our next game between SK Telecom and Fnatic is I'm joined here by Deficio and Quickshot to preview that one. Now, uh, this means if Fnatic manages to beat out SKT, they clinch their spot in the playoffs because they do own the head-to-head -head versus TSM. At least it is something, but for Fnatic in general, it just hasn't been looking that well, and SKT has been looking unstoppable. Yeah, and I think that's why this game here for Fnatic, they don't really have to think too much about what's going to happen. Nobody expects them to win the game. It's all about Besiktas later on, because if they win that match, they're in the top four anyway, with Team Soulmate losing earlier today. So honestly, if you are Fnatic, take it easy here. In, Try your best, obviously. In theory. In theory, in, theory, in the top four. Sure. However, the last time Europe needed don't to bring beat it up. Don't bring a it up. wild card team to make playoffs, the wildcard team stepped up to North America's aid. Kaboom happened, and Alliance was taken down. Anyway. Yes. So, yes, yes, in theory, I agree. In theory, I agree. That's why you focus this on the be, next game. There should be no pressure. One. There should be no pressure on Fnatic shoulders because it should all be about the next game. But we need to see it. This is still SKT. This is still Faker they're playing against. It's a tough match. Exactly. And as said, SK Telecom. You know, reminiscent of their old form, they are looking very unstoppable, and a lot of roles just you have to shut down. Yeah, definitely. Number one, don't give Bengi Rek'Sai. Stop it. Like, we've, we've learned that already. Number two, Marin is a monster. Um, uh, we were looking at some of the stats. He's got a 750 gold lead average at the 10-minute mark across the games that he's already played. There is nobody that's been able to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. But one thing that I do like is Marin, along with Huni, on their respective teams, is actually dealing the highest percentage of their team's damages uh, damage in total as well. Mm -hmm. So it's nice to see these sort of carry damage dealing champions back in the meta and back in shining because I got a bit tired of the Scion Maokais that we were seeing in Europe a lot. And this really is one of the problems for Fnatic in this matchup. Normally back in the EULs, Huni would honestly be a level above most of the top laners yeah. and he could, he could be the big carry. Marin will stand toe-to-toe -to -toe for sure in this matchup. Then it's about the bottom side of the map and that's why they've struggled so much already from Fnatic side. So in order to beat SK Telecom, if you cannot win any of the lanes, then you have to look at a jungle matchup. Bengi's been on fire. I'm not sure where Fnatic has the advantage and that's why I think this match is nearly impossible for them. Yeah, a very interesting point also bringing up Huni. Huni is also a, a lot of the times the catalyst when uh, Fnatic wants to go in. It's Yellow Star and him. Huni just teleports and they try and force fights even though they are at the disadvantage. And I feel like if you make one of those mistakes versus SKT, it is over before it's begun. I completely agree. And we, when we were doing a lot of our prep leading up to this tournament, we were talking about how Huni helps the duo lane win. And Huni prioritizes a lot of his teleports onto that lane because Rain overspends his time in the top lane. So it's this nice, in theory, snowball effect. I do think there is a small saving grace. Please take this with a pinch of salt. I think Bang and Wolf, while they are incredible and are still, in theory, stronger than Steelback and Yellowstar, I don't think they are quite as badly outclassed as Deft and Maiko. We just saw them performing there. And if Fnatic can be smart and try find a lane swap, maybe they can avoid some of that and try get control of the tempo because head to head, they've been outclassed in so many of the games. I think lane swap is the one because I think Bang and, and Wolf together has probably been the strongest duo lane we're going to see as well. Also, the champion pool they do have makes it nearly impossible for for Steelback to play anything. I, if Sivir's banned away, that's been his main pick back in Europe as well, like mm -hmm. where he had the, let's say, the most impact on the game. That's not gonna happen for him. So we're gonna have to see great teleports coming in from Hoon. We're gonna have to see Reyna put focus on that lane as well if they wanna make sure Steelback and Yellowstar wins it because Steelback so far, honestly, his performance overall, it's been terrible. He's like behind 30 CS at 10 minutes. He has a KD under one. If you look at the last few games he's played, so Fnatic needs to find a way to make sure he survives the laning phase. I think lane swapping is what you have yeah. to do. Put him in a lane swap. Don't put him in the 2v2 lane. And just try and draw out the early game a little bit. And then start making plays in the mid game with some telebots and hope you can surprise SK Telecom. Hope you can surprise must be what they are banking on here. We will see now as we head up to the casters booth for a look at the teams. We'll hear on how the spread of the Korean talent around the world is changing the game for even the most historically dominant teams. 어, 저 같은 경우에는 지금까지 해외 대회에 나와가지고 진 적이 거의 없고 또 그리고 연습 게임에서도 거의 진 적이 없었는데 이번에 같은 이번 경우에는 좀 해외 다른 한국 선수들도 많이 나왔고 또 다른 해외 팀의 수준이 많이 올라왔다 보니까 좀 예전처럼 그렇게 쉽게 이기는 힘들 것 같고 Hey guys, welcome back to the Caster Desk. I'm Doe, that's Monte Cristo, and that is Jat as well. And we are about to move into SKT versus Fnatic. Let's take a look at the lineups for both teams. It's going to be a pretty crazy game, but I've got a feeling going to be a little bit of a tough one for Fnatic. There, of course, is SK Telecom, T1, Marn in the top line, Bengi in the jungle, Faker in mid lane, Bang and Wolf 
in the bot lane, and of course, Coach Coma. Yeah, I like how Faker said it wasn't going to be easy, but he said nothing about not winning. The other side is going to be Fnatic in this game. They are the red side, of course. We got Hooney in the top lane, who had a great game one against TSM, but has since looked a little bit lackluster. Rain over in the jungle, Feb event in mid. Steel back on AD carry, needs to step it up. Yellow star on support, of course. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, is talk about struggling. Steelback has had probably one of the worst events I think we've ever seen him have. And uh, now he has to play against Bang and Wolf. Monty, is, is there any chance? Like, what do you do? Do you have to lane swap? Do you just get away from the 2v2? I, I don't really know what Fnatic can do here. I think that lane swapping against Marin and the expertise in lane swaps of SKT is a fast way to get Marin ahead. And Marin has been such a major carry threat this tournament that it may prove difficult. But I am looking forward to seeing the, the Huni Marin matchup is really interesting to me because of the, how much percentage damage they're dealing. And this is really new for SKT because traditionally, over the course of this season, it's been mid lane that's been dealing the damage. Yeah, that's the thing that I hope we see this game is a good Marin versus Huni matchup. I think that's what a few of the bands should be targeted towards if you're SKT. We had some predictions for what we thought were going to be